The 2024 race for the White House, an election in which Pennsylvania will again play a major role. And new numbers from Harrisburg show registered Republicans have crept within a few percentage points of registered Democrats in the Keystone State. Newswatch 16's Jack Culkin joins us live from the Luzerne County Courthouse with what voters are saying about the tight race. Jack. Scott and Lisa, the close split between Democratic and Republican voters here in Luzerne County mirrors what we're seeing across Pennsylvania. It's being called a trend in political affiliation that educators say is not a surprise. If we're looking for what's happened, I mean, I think a lot of this is sort of, you know, probably 15, 20 years in the making. Bucknell University political science professor Chris Ellis says Pennsylvania's two biggest political parties are now closer in number than they've been in more than a decade. According to the Department of State, registered Democrats outnumber Republican voters in the Commonwealth by just shy of 400,000. Statistics show that number comes from a decline in registered Democrats and an increase in Republican voter registrations over the past few years. There's a, a, you know, a good number of people, uh, particularly in central Pennsylvania, maybe northeast Pennsylvania, that have been sort of basically acting Republican for years, registered as Democrats because, you know, it was a family thing. They've done it all their lives. In Union County, voters we spoke with say a difference in political party all depends on where you live. Town, I think the Democrat outside the Republic. This area right here in Lewisburg, this is more of a of a of a liberal area. Bucknell here, and this is the one that few areas around here that actually is liberal. Jeffrey Bunch of Northumberland says the near split in registered voters is a clear sign that on election day every vote matters. Very important, especially with the way the everybody's divided right now. In 2020, less than 100,000 votes separated President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump in Pennsylvania, something experts say may be even closer this time around. The number of voters that are going to be up for grabs is, is, is pretty high. And it's hard to pinpoint exactly who it is, right? Is it going to be the cities that change? Is it going to be the suburbs? I mean, I think in a state this close, like everywhere matters. No matter where you are, I mean, everyone's vote basically counts the same at this point. Professor Ellis does also say that there has been a climbing number of independent and third party voters here in the Keystone State over the last few years. While he expects this number to keep climbing, he says he doesn't expect it to have a big impact on this upcoming general election to determine who wins and who loses. Jack Colkin, Newswatch 16, live in Luzerne County. Jack